This quick guide video provides an overview of how to position the electrodes when performing OVEMP testing. In 2007, Toretau demonstrated that OVEMPs can be recorded from several different electrode sites, but the largest N10 amplitudes are obtained when recording from the contralateral inferior oblique muscle to the ear which is being stimulated. Here is an overview of how the electrode should be positioned in order to obtain an OVEMP. The left blue reference electrode should be placed underneath the right eye while the left ear is being stimulated, and vice versa. The active electrode should be positioned on the chin and the ground on the forehead. If no OVEMP response is found, we recommend slightly repositioning the oblique electrode. Just like ABR, the electrode sites must be prepared and cleaned in order to obtain acceptably low skin impedance. It is recommended to have impedance values of 3 kilo ohms or lower. The impedance values between one another should be similar. In addition to having low impedances, it is also important to ensure that the reference electrodes are positioned correctly. A study by Sandu et al. in 2013 demonstrates that small changes in electrode position can have drastic effects on the OVEMP response. We have found that most clinical errors in recording OVEMPs are a result of incorrect electrode positioning. The results from the Sandu et al. study suggest that the reference electrode should be positioned as close as possible underneath the orbital midline. Beware, there is a null point where the OVEMP response will not be recorded if you replace the electrode medially from this point. Lastly, the gain is reduced minus 20 dB for the preamplifier in order to handle the muscle potential of the response. This concludes this introductory quick guide video on how to position the electrodes for OVEMP testing.